<laughs> On November 13th, gunmen and bombers attacked a number of locations throughout Paris. They killed over 120 people and wounded an even larger number. Ce qui s'est produit hier à Paris, c'est un acte de guerre. ISIS, otherwise known as the Islamic State, claimed responsibility for these attacks. A group of believers from the soldiers of the Caliphate set out targeting the capital of prostitution and vice, the lead carrier of the cross in Europe, Paris. In the past, ISIS really hasn't launched any major terrorist attacks abroad. ISIS's basic goal is holding on to its territory in Iraq and Syria. Why change your strategy now? One theory, according to the Brookings Institution's Will McCants, is that they're trying to warn off their enemies abroad. They want to deter uh, further military action. Recently, ISIS has been losing territory. Bombing from a U.S.-led coalition, which includes France, has hurt the group. They have lost something like 25% of their territory. So ISIS has a problem. It has strong foreign militaries that are fighting against it, and it doesn't have a good way to fight back at them. So one theory, according to McCants, is that the attack in Paris is a means of showing these enemies that ISIS will hurt them if they keep attacking it. Evidence for this theory includes the fact that ISIS recently attacked a part of Lebanon that's a Hezbollah stronghold. Hezbollah is a Lebanese militia that is fighting on the same side as Bashar al-Assad in Syria, nominally an ISIS enemy. Similarly, there's strong suspicion that ISIS bombed a Russian civilian airliner in Egypt. So the idea here is that ISIS wants to show potential enemies that you will pay a price if you attack ISIS in Syria and Iraq. So if ISIS attacked Paris, it might not have been out of strength. It might have been out of weakness.